Hi, this is T.J. Morris Agency, and I'm visiting with Talon Wood of the band Thin Ice, which is a new band locally in my area of Gulf Breeze, Navarre, Pensacola, Florida, up and down the coast. And I'm very excited because I had two of my scouts out looking around, and the Pensacola News was there too, and they're starting to make quite a ruckus at the dock. So uh, I'm going to try to learn a little bit about who he is. I've never heard him play. I'm looking forward to going down to one of his sets November 4th with the band that's, uh, I believe it's four pieces, but let's hear what he has to say. I've just met him. Okay, Talon, you're on. Tell us a little bit about who you are and what you're doing with this band. Yeah, so I, I began, you know, my career, I guess, personally around uh, when I was 12 or 13, 14-ish kind of area. Uh, I've been playing about seven years now. Um, Got into it when I heard uh, No One Like You with Scorpions on the radio, and you know, from there I transitioned into you know taking taking guitar more seriously. And, you know, I ended up in a band. You know, now here I am, you know, Thin Ice. Uh, met the lead singer at a New Year's party, December thirty first, twenty twenty. Um, right across from my house was a neighbor's party, and he just happened to be there with a friend. And, uh, you know, we just got together. I asked him if he, you you know, want to try out for a band. You know, I, I he was leading me on to telling me that he was a singer. You know, so I was like, okay, we'll give you a shot. And, um, I had prior contact with my bass player, Kyle Dennis. Um, we had been in a band together, a childhood kind of you know, high school thing. It was my junior, senior year. Um, it's just a little project we played in the house, and you know, then I separated from that group. Uh, and you know, come, come a time later, this is about a year forward, and he contacts me early December, around the same time I meet Kenny Ball, just the lead singer. And um, yeah, he asked me if, if I was looking for a bass player. Sure enough, I was. And then, uh, you know, fast forward, you know, first practice January 6th, uh, first gig um, January 26th, 2021. And, you know, we're 10 months in. And we're reeling in at least, you know, 50,000 in revenue throughout this year, um, making a name for ourselves. So I, I guess that's where we're at. We've uh, already gone through a drummer, former uh, drummer was Evan Rudman. And uh, now we're on uh, Anthony Forte, he's a drummer based out of Fort Walton Beach. And, uh, he's been playing about 16 years. Our first drummer was only playing for a year, so major upgrade there. But um, yeah, we're kicking kick group, pulling through with a lot of originals. Just opened up for a huge band, and uh, it's looking to be a more highly occurring event. So uh, hope to make that you know permanent stage of growth. And it uh, looks like we're going up in the world. Okay, and I asked you if you had joined BMI yet, so uh, it's free for songwriters, and I'm a songwriter producer, and I'm on with BMI, and I worked many years as a producer with BMI and IBMA, rundering around, handing out packets for members, and we were always rubbing heads with ASCAP, but someone else recently told you, uh, some famous person, at least in my age, my genre, when I was growing up, was the Beach Boys, and I understand you had a guitar out in a hallway, and one of the Beach Boys uh, approached you, did he not? Yeah, yeah, Bruce Johnston of the Beach Boys, he's uh, 79 now, and uh, yeah, he was like, what are you all here for? I was at the Beau Rivage in Biloxi, and he was like, what are you all here for? And I was like, well, I'm here to see the Beach Boys, and he was like, well, you're talking to one of them, so I was like, oh, you know, so it took me by surprise, took me aback, uh, we got a picture with them, but anyways, we start talking music theory and, uh, you know, ownership rights to your songs and all that, uh, he was like, you know, who owns the rights to your songs? And I said, well, you know, we haven't actually, uh, you know, registered our songs yet. I mean, we're still in the first year. We're yet to even record. He's like, well, hold on. What does your mom and dad say at the end of their wedding? I do. So he asks again, right? Who owns the rights to your song? I do, right? It's a bass player. I do. I was there with Kyle. Um, he had an extra ticket. That's why we we're there. Anyway, yeah, you know, he's talking that. You know, he has a lot of input. I mean, he's currently working with new groups like Skrillex, uh, The Weeknd. Um, he's still staying relevant. He says, you know, you've got to adapt to the music industry if you want to keep making it. Um, as, you know, he was like the American Beatles, right? I mean, just using that same time frame, coming from 63 to 2021. Um, I mean, that, the, you know, the way the industry works hasn't changed a lot. So, you know, I got a lot of valuable input from that. Dude's still kicking it. So I, I really thought that was amazing, considering he also approached us. We didn't even, I mean, I didn't even know who I was looking for. I hadn't followed the Beach Boys much, but I was like, yeah, I'll go see him. Yeah, so. It was a really, really incredible opportunity. Yeah. Well, you have a good voice, and I'm looking forward to hearing you sing and some of your originals and getting with BMI registered. 
At the same time, I'm glad that someone with the Beach Boys, uh, synchronicity is what a lot of this music industry is all about, being at the right place at the right time. And I told you, I think you've got the it factor, which I've seen in many famous people throughout the years. I got started with Bob Hope on a tour as a pretty lady on stage with him in Houston and Dallas and met the presidents, uh, Reagan and Bush personally. And so I've learned with music, being married to a musician for years about unions, musicians, and bands. And then I worked around Nashville for around 20 years, it's country music. But I understand your music's mostly, you're drawn to rock. Is that your charts and what you're offering people that may see this on YouTube? Yeah, you know, it's every time we're asked, it's, it's really hard to describe our originals because if you give them any sort of impression, it's like, you know, you want to... You don't want to scare somebody off, but, you know, because if I was to say, well, it's rock driven or it's, you know, more new wave, whatever, um, psychedelic rock, you know, some it turns some people off because they, they, they get some conception in their mind uh, based on the schema they already have, you know, for that genre or whatever, who, whoever they've been impressed by. Uh, and they'll think that that'll be representative of us. And I think we're a genuinely uh, unique experience that hasn't been, um, hasn't been seen in a while. You know, we're, we're a new take on what's been... You know, we're inspired by all the groups like Red Hot Chili Peppers, Pink Floyd, uh, Aerosmith, right? The, the greats um, that you hear in the rock and roll industry. And, you know, coming from that, that's who I'm inspired by personally. And then that's what has rubbed off on our group. And uh, we take that, you know, as, as inspiration for the originals that we write. Um, so, yeah, it's hard to categorize that for, for me. But I would say that, you know, it, it, it's like our music, it sounds familiar. Like, you've already heard it. But you haven't, and it's it's like the thing that you can always go back to. You can instantly relate to it. Um, you're amazed that it's not on the radio. These are the impressions that I've been told by uh, people in the crowd, you know, places we've been, and you know, to have that effect on people um, so early on with with such few in, uh, originals written already, you know, numbering less than twenty. Um, it's a good feeling, and uh, we're looking to get into the studio soon to to really showcase that. Start streaming that on all platforms. Well, you're an opening band, which is a good place to start for uh, many of the larger bands that are being booked in by a booking agent, such as Hinder. And uh, tell us a little bit about opening up. What uh, venue was it, and who was the booking agent for that? Well, actually, so I was in personal contact. Uh, the guy that handles booking there, he's employed there. Uh, his name is Justin. And um, he, he handles all booking. But I was in personal correspondence with him whenever he first reached out to us um, personally as a recommendation from a venue called Enlightened Studios. And uh, we've performed there in Fort Walton Beach. So he was calling around to find an opener for a band um, called Rehab because the opener that they had already planned for that canceled the same day. They had a trailer, trailer mishap or something like that. So they were looking for a quick fix. And we had notice of that gig um, within about seven hours that same day. So... We opened up for a big band, Rehab, Platinum Charting, right? Um, or at least Gold, right? Either way, they've been streamed, they've had number one hits in the past. So, you know, that, that was a big deal to us. And we were contacted same day, we came to that gig same day, performed, um, we had a major impact on them, so I've got their contact information now. So then I reached out about the Hinder Show, and uh, they wanted to have us on for that. Sure enough, we came through, we killed. Um, you know, doubled our impact on people from the first show, which was already outstanding. Um, and they want to have us on for the next gig there uh, as an opener, trapped. And uh, they're thinking about having us as a house opener because uh, we're based locally. We have great sound. And we're only getting, you know, getting positive reviews from people that come in there. And we look like we're retaining um, a very good crowd and actually building a fan base for ourselves uh, in all this process. We've uh, made good revenue and merchandise just yesterday when we sold there. So. It's looking, looking good. We're heading in a good direction. Uh, the bar graph is uh, looking like a, an upward upward rise. So. All right. And uh, now your father is your business manager, and we can get in touch with you. You have a web presence, so that means you have your own domain name, and you're building your own website right now. But I'd be more than happy to help you with the fan base and get to see you on Patreon, and we'll look at your YouTubes, and I'll put this as a trailer, a little trailer for some of our uh, uh, websites, just to let people know who you are. And uh, you want to mention uh, your LLC because you're really professional and because this is your first year and it was a COVID year, 2021, you know, 
hindsight's 2020, so we put that behind us. So you're making it in a year that's almost impossible to make income for most entrepreneurs. So you want to mention your dad is prior military, which I promote veterans. So that works for me. But he is at least going to help you for a little while as your business manager. Uh, is that correct? Yeah, of course. You know, he uh, yeah has the Navy background, you know, so he's got that regimented, you know, this is what we do, you know, there, there's a purpose to everything, right? There's a cause and there's an effect. Um, and the causation of all of this is that, you know, we have something truly there to, to market. And so therefore he's willing to uh, applicate that effort towards that. Because again, there's, there's no point in wasting your time, you know, and this guy, you know, he values his time more than anyone else, like me. Um, I work efficiently and we try to achieve the most we can in a limited amount of time with the most we've got. And uh, so that's what we've done. You know, a lot of bands have struggled with you know, even the guys that have been doing it for four or five years, you know, they come to the gig, right? They do the filler thing. Um, that's what they do. You know, it's they come and play a show and that's it. Um, we're trying to make it to the top. That's what we do. Um, and we've worked hard and we've indicated that that's the direction we're, we're going to go at the age we are. Um, it's a very aggressive approach. Um, yeah, we've established this LLC. We've got our URL. Um, Getting your trailer and new equipment too yeah, for content. We're about to invest, you know, uh, more than three grand into a new PA system um, that we've all saved up collectively from these just past gigs from just this one month. Um, that's when we've retained these funds for that PA system. And I understand that most of the clubs around up and down the Gulf Coast, uh, you're lucky if you get three fifty an hour for the five piece band. So yeah, for like a four or five man group, I mean, you might get three hundred, four hundred, you know, tops. And uh, we're making easily five to. 500 to 1,000, I mean, depending on where we play. And um, that's been the trend. Again, we've been growing our income. We started at $300 for a three hour set at our first venue of Stripes in the bar, Stripes Pub and Grill. And uh, we're very grateful for that opportunity. We don't forget that. But uh, of course, we're always looking to expand and uh, grow, you know, which is what it's all about. We're not, we're not here to retain. We're not gonna plateau. It's always been about what can we do better? Where are we going? And that's the aggressive mindset we, uh, we employ. This young man's only 20 years old, folks, right here in Florida. He was born in Newport News, Virginia. Virginia. So he's a Virginia boy down here in Florida, but this uh, military family, uh, government contractor, Navy vet, looking forward to meeting his father and his mother and helping him with his business. And uh, guys, you know, I have uh, TJ Morris Agency, Cyberspace Culture Club Community as ACO Club. So just out here doing our voluntary Net Citizens ACO Press Club. So uh, this is it, and I hope you'll look up our new friend here, Talon Justice Wood. I call him TJ, I, probably because I'm Teresa Jeanette and I go by TJ. So that'll be easier to remember for PR, marketing, and uh, look forward to having you guys join us on YouTube and especially our new Patreon account for a fan base we're going to develop just like we did with William Shatner. All right, so let's get that fan base going, and uh, we're going to hopefully get some uh, ladies out here volunteering some time to help us and look for all the products that his parents are engaged in helping us move for him. And I'm going to see him at the dock November 4th, so I just dated this, 2021. This is about almost Halloween, and we are in Gulf Breeze, Florida. So with that said, uh Mr. Talon Justice Wood, you were born with that name, right? Okay. Right. So anything you want to say? Because this is just spur of the moment. I uh, just really appreciate everyone tuning in. And uh, we hope to see you all at any given shows. Uh, we appreciate all the support we can get. And um, you'll definitely be hearing about us. Uh, we're not going anywhere. We're only going up from here. And uh, we've gone up considerably since the start. And it's been, it's been a crawl to a fly. That's where we're at. So. so you're booking right now up and down the coast, Emerald Coast, 100-mile radius, Panama City to yeah. Pensacola or oh, over to Panama Tallahassee? All the, to, all the way to Mississippi. What about the university? Universities, uh, arenas, clubs, bars, basements, we're anywhere. Anywhere where we can get our name out, we don't turn down an opportunity if the price is right, of course. And even then, you know, we're all about exposure. We work with uh, any venue or any employer that we can. We're always open to opportunity. We never turn it down. 
All right. Well, folks, uh, we're normally working at 300 an hour to put you on stage, and that's what we're looking for, plus our 10% agent fees out there, everybody. Just so you know, the boys have to pay another 60 bucks to get coverage. So keep that in mind, all you big $500 an hour tip payers, right? So we appreciate it if we can uh, get some donations following in and uh, look for their products. Oh, real quick, tell us about uh, your your name there on those vans yeah so these are uh, custom vans that we got done um this is just for the band that we did personally but of course um these can be done in mass for customers if they're looking for that we have templates that you can uh download or the links to this uh, customization um i personally took on a bandana customization for myself the lead singer has employed flamingos on his and uh the bass player snakeskin and uh, we all kind of have our um little signature patterns that we like to go to all right, well, we got 15 minutes saved up here, so I'm going to cut it off now. I really appreciate spontaneous time today. I didn't know I was going to meet you, but thanks for 15 minutes of fame. Of course, thank, you. thank you, folks. TJ Morris.